carpet in the kitchen? Oh, okay, it's worse than I thought. This house is hideous. Whoa! Whoa. I want to take a sledgehammer to all of it. Hey, we're Drew and Jonathan Scott. We are gonna break down the most outrageous, unhinged, and unconventional property listings on the internet. We've seen a lot of very questionable home design choices in our decade on television. Yeah, there's not a lot that surprises us these days, but I'm willing to take a look and see what's out there. First listing, one of a kind estate in the heart of Niagara County. Elegance and old world charm. That's how people actually describe me a lot of the yeah. time. Wasn't that on your dating profile? Yeah. Though I am seeing the snow and instantly I'm like, I'm out. I've gotten yeah, weak. That's why we, we, we escaped <laughs> no, the cold. No more Canada. snow. $814,000, I mean, that's pretty good. For 2.7 acres? Yeah. If only in LA we could get 2.7 acres, 14 covered parking spots, and a four Why, six why the heck does anybody need 14 covered parking spots? Forget the cars, what the heck is happening in here? This is, this is, wait, are we? I, I hope this person is not a smoker because that, I, I can tell it's like that textured wallpaper yeah. that just absorbs. I don't know what's worse, the green carpet on the stairs and in the in the sitting room or the wallpaper. Wait, it's one thing to have complementing colors in your palette, but everything is literally green. That just looks bad. Green chairs, green AstroTurf. Oh. This is like the person who is like, I want to tell everybody that I'm rich, but not just rich. No. Rich, rich. No, but and then is... they put this pukey, opulent thing together. I picture this is like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, like the lounge or the smoking room. This is how he has it. But they decided, let's just put a really bold blue in there that doesn't go with it at all. Like those yeah. colors don't work together at all. Okay, okay. So moving into the dining room, there's more we can work with here. Okay, the last room was all brown. This room now has red carpet, uh, red wait. chairs. Carpet in the kitchen? What happens if you drop the pasta? Carpet in a bathroom is bad enough. Carpet in the kitchen is just insane. This person is a sociopath. Now in here, we've seen a lot of kitchens like this. You can clean this up and make it look a lot better by spraying out the cabinets properly when not. I, I just wanna say, the fact that you just said you could spray this out and make it much better makes me respect you less. <laughs> I know, come on. I mean, if someone was on a budget and they didn't wanna rip all the cabinets out, they could spray this out and make it look better. Would you want to replace all the cabinets? Yeah. Hell yeah, you would. I want to take a sledgehammer to that. I want to take a sledgehammer to all of it. Let's go from crazy, crazy wallpaper everywhere to no personality in a space at all. There's a purple chair, or pink, I think it's a pink chair. I mean, this is a massive bedroom. See the chairs and the table. This is where you're like drinking wine while you're getting ready. Do you drink wine? Ever in your closet? Well, no, but I also don't have friends into my bedroom to hang out. That's what I said. I'm table. like, who's hanging out in your bedroom or in your bathroom drinking wine? So here, here's the thing. This house is hideous. So obvious. Full but, stop. But I would, I would buy this house because it has the room to work with. If they're priced reasonably for a house that needs a ton of work, get rid of all the furniture. You can easily strip it down and make this gorgeous. Here's my thought. Let's go to Palm Springs, somewhere a little bit warmer. Calling all Palm Springs yes. enthusiasts <laughs> and design aficionados. Okay. So it has that mid-century modern flair. Whoa, Whoa, what is going Red I'm room. suddenly angry. I mean, some people think, oh, red means like sexy vibes. No, this is like Satan vibes. L Liberace would look at this and say it's too much. No, I love the fact that these people were like, let's evoke Satan. How about yeah. that? That's what I'm going for. They're letting out their devilish side here. It's like a mystery novel from the 70s. <laughs> the bartender comes with the house, by the way, when you buy it. So it's a deal for $2 million. <laughs> yeah, that's so bad. So you've got the Formica countertops, the yeah. matching dishwasher, which at the time, having a dishwasher was a bit of luxury. It was. And nothing makes you look better than fluorescent lights overhead. Mm. That was, I don't understand what the trend was to have low ceilings with a heavy, heavy fluorescent light above. Yeah. It makes nobody look good. And then ceramic chickens. At least the cabinets go all the way to the ceiling. Oh, oh, oh wow. God. Let's make it a little tackier. Purple ceiling and a questionable smurf for decor. What is that? Granted, that does look like me at the beach. <laughs> Do you wear that? You wear your leader hose into the I beach? I've got my blue zinc. A bedroom that looks like this is a bedroom that I never want to touch because if you take a black light to it, you know there are bad things. Who in their right mind looks at this and says, nailed it? Wow. Uh, oh, at least you have a built-in tub <laughs> over there with that. So not only is grout on a countertop terrible, but here they have the tiny tiles, so you have grout everywhere, and that's just trapping all the grime. Isn't this the bathroom that Sharon Stone used in Casino? when they were living in that ritzy place. Maybe as well. Oh, this is Palm Springs. Yeah. yeah. 
This is really, oh God. Oh, Just for your guests, when you really want your guests to experience next level luxury. Wah. Also, I mean, I'm all for a padded headboard, but that literally looks like a coffin? It literally looks like a coffin with the lid open. That that looks to me like what the Joker lives in. He has that in his home. How how bad is it when everything is so bad that this actually looks okay? <laughs> it's, it's, it's I don't so think it looks okay. It's just again, it almost doesn't look real because the lighting is so it's so dark. That's what it is. The photos were so dark that they tried to lighten it up in post that it's almost making everything look sketch. Like it's not real. Yeah, oh, it's sketch, all right. Finally, okay, this. Wait. I can deal with. Wait, wait, how do you have the inside of the house looking so awful and the outside just looks like a regular home in Palm Springs? Yeah, okay, all right. Now, I may consider buying this place now. That one area of the 16. Again, I'm always for getting a house that is where everybody else is running away from, but I don't know, this to me is a bit much. You know what? I, I think there's probably any tech problems. I don't want that. House. No, no, no. That's no, the only no. reason. Embark on a rare opportunity to own the enchanting crystal blue lagoon bed and breakfast in Crystal River, Florida. Uh, wait, $3.3 million? $3.3 million for something that has Better that be a damn good breakfast. That's <laughs> a bed and breakfast. Oh my God. On-site fishing and kayaking. Okay, well so far, not seeing $3.3 million. Did they pay, they painted oh, the chimney stack. Maybe they pay us $3.3 million. Oh, po possibly, yeah. Oh, okay, it's worse than I thought. I don't know. That blue, the blue on the, the, the carpet for the outside. Here's another problem I have. If somebody is going to ask for millions of dollars for a property, stage it with furniture that actually matches. Yeah. This is all so like, hey, well, hey, this garage sale had a deal. Oh, this had a deal. Wait. This is r really tacky and the wires all it exposed. It doesn't feel like a million dollar property. There are mermaids everywhere. Do we really need to have, in one room, we have a wall mermaid, we have the two above the, the arch. It's the enchanted castle. Right. Don't ask such questions. Right. Another mermaid. The, the fact that they've anchored the dining area with a painted mural ship deck is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, the floors. And you it know, actually says, live, laugh, love. I'm pillow on the left. <laughs> does like, it literally? Oh if my I had to pick does. one saying that makes me want to just End it all. You know what? I live, think laugh, love. If, if someone wanted a cheesy sort of a theme getaway, maybe they would love this. As kids, mom and dad took us to cheesy themed yeah. hotels. They haven't cluttered the rooms just with decor, which they're definitely doing. They've also done some like hard renovation, the tile choices, the murals on the floor. Like that's not cheap to have murals like that on the floor or the fireplace. Maybe the owner was like a muralist. Maybe. I can tell you the kids would love this room. Yeah. Having manatee. And sea creatures all yeah. around you. Oh, this is interesting. So they have a canal coming right off of the. I, I'm gonna call Animal Welfare Services because I don't think this is safe for mermaids. Looks like the pH is off in this water. It's a merman, merman. Wait. Wait, are those real manatees in the water? Wait, you have the manatees like clustered right there on your property? That's interesting. No, I don't think that's real. Is that real? It looks real. <laughs> you know, I guess if you're really into manatees, yeah. it's worth the property. I actually will say thank you to anybody who lists these houses because all you're doing is making my listings look better. Yeah. Thank you. I say thank you to anyone who buys these because you're going to need Thank some you good luck. and good luck.